Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, A Curious Cuttlefish. Today we are going to be having a game spotlight, and I'm going to be telling you guys about Rhino Hero. Today's game is called Rhino Hero. So I'll hold it up for you guys. And in this game, you can think of it kind of like a Jenga. You're building a building out of cards, and there is a little rhino that you place into it. I'm going to scoot over so I can put up pictures all along the side. So here I will show you. These are the cards that come inside of this game. It's very fun. It's for two to five players. You can play this with a wide variety of ages. Um, Mr. Cuttlefish and I really enjoy playing this game with larger groups of people. It says two to five players, but we have played it with more. And with this game, there is a little rhino that is included. He moves up the tower as you go. So this game is like a combination of Uno and Jenga. Every turn, you go through cards that are given to you. In the corners of these cards, it tells you what types of card it is. You have a 2x, which means you can place two cards down at the same time. You have a reverse, which changes the order of turn play. There is also a skip, and there are Rhino Hero cards. Some of these cards have nothing on them, so they are just a playing card. When you place a card, you have to build walls according to the design shown on the roof card that, you, um, that was placed before. The starting card, you can either have an easy side or a more advanced side. When starting with the easy side, you would place the two cards down as indicated on the lines on the base. And then you would place whatever roof card you have or floor card you want to call in your hand on top of that. The next player would then have to place their cards in the configuration as shown on the card that was placed before them. If there is a Rhino Hero card played, you have to pick up the little Rhino Hero from wherever he is, whether he is in the building or not, and move him to his new spot. The person who wins is the person who gets rid of all of their cards, or isn't the person who knocks over the building. We really enjoyed this game, and I thought it would be fun to share it all with all of you guys. I will have a link in the description box beneath if you are interested in purchasing it. I am not affiliated in any way. I just thought it would be a fun game to show to you guys, something that you could play with your families, and uh, just introduce you guys to something new. So I hope you enjoyed this, this video. I hope you enjoyed this new game spotlight and a new game that you guys can check out. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much. I love you and I so appreciate you coming back and watching all my videos. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will see you guys Monday. Bye.